Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Honeycutt. My friends know me as Guillermo, and I'm here to tell you something I care very deeply about. Quick show of hands, who here has heard of the student-led march for our lives in D.C.? Mm -hmm. We must protect our schools. This is Cedric. He's a Christian pastor, a service veteran, and a community leader. He also has a history of restraining orders, assault, and he's brandished a weapon. One year ago, he entered an elementary school, shot his wife, <coughs> an eight-year-old in the background, before turning the weapon on himself. This horrific event strikes fear in the hearts of parents and children. We must commit our hearts, as well as public monies, to doing something about this. But exactly what? You can retrofit a school entrance with vestibule, sally ports, man traps, and put in a metal detector, but these are incomplete solutions because you can trap a man inside, but it doesn't tell you what to do with him. And they're a nightmare to staff. So we were looking for a solution, something that's both friendly, yet secure. How would you do that? We decided to use artificial intelligence using facial recognition. Let me show you how this works. This here is Arturo. He's walking up to the elementary school, and he's about to activate the video intercom. It's going to recognize his face and record the transaction. It's going to alert the attendant inside. Here's the doorbell. Boom. She's going to interact with him should she choose to. And at this point, it's also going to take a video transcript, access relevant data on him, and make a recommendation. So let me go ahead and hit this again. You're going to get a live video feed. <coughs> Facial recognition occurs within one or two seconds. A voice transcript relevant data and choose your action. So you open the door for faculty, staff, parents, and guardians, and you choose to keep outside criminals, sex offenders, non-custodial parents, or basically anybody that the school deems unwanted. Now, our internal testing shows that we get 80% recognition on the first pass, and this quickly improves to 95% recognition on the very second pass. Our advisors are experts in their field, and they're absolutely enthusiastic about the fact that we collaborate with all of the major video intercom systems. We already have installations in several Boston City schools. More importantly, we're spreading into the Connecticut public school system, and we're, getting, we're finding significant traction within the religious-based schools in downtown Boston. So our competition in this space is ripe for disruption. Why? Because technology simply affords us a better solution. Driver's licenses and keyboards are slow. But more importantly, what good was that secure entrance now that the assailant is already inside the building? So at who.ai, all you have to bring is your smile. Match the face, hit that button, and you just train our system. The chief technical, officer, chief technical officer for AI Phone is enthusiastic about collaborating with us. So as far as the business model is concerned, we're hitting all the key spots. But more importantly, the take home message is this. We offer a value proposition of a security enhanced doorbell, and it's based on a subscription model. So the pricing is $20 per child per year in the private school system, and only $10 per child per year in the public school system. Those of you who are Kentucky public school parents know that you're paying $5 a year for a background check just to be able to ride along on field trips. Well, it turns out that that's half the cost of our total security solution and we do background checks for free. Installations are a cost plus basis, but it's usually negligible since we can use the hardware that's already existing in the school. And we offer grant application support. Now, we bring an absolutely fantastic team in the equation. Our founder happens to have Wall Street chops and he's managing MIT's endowment, hence the Boston connection. Myself, I'm an engineer and I also happen to be a physician. Emma does our grant application support. Christian does the client portal and web development. Jessica, Brandy, Alicia, our experts here are truly amazing. John builds and owns school information systems, and Jeremy handles security for embassies as well as schools. But what does every one of us here on this page do? Wait, stop. What should every single one of you do? We should insist on effective and peaceful solutions. We must protect the ones we love, and we cannot afford to get this one wrong. We are who.ai. Questions. And if we've got enough time, I can give you a live demo because we only need a couple seconds.